hi all today we will discuss about system design basic so what will be considered in system design while we are creating a high level system design or low level system design so we have a hld and lld so while we are working on this uh, any of the module so we need to um, before that we need to take the requirements so what type of requirement is there and how we will create a design patterns or uh, architectures for that according to that what all are the designs patterns and all is required we will see so here while we go for the system design basic there we have a multiple things which we have to follow one first is scope of the problems so we need to focus on what all are the problems will be uh, there to solve this problem so we need to uh, resolve so how we will resolve what all are the architectures need to be defined for that so for that purpose we are doing the system design so this is the first scope of the problems first we have to define what all are the problems is there why we are developing and what need to be developed and how we will create the second thing is abstract design once we find the problems then we have to design these things and then then we have to finding and addressing the bottlenecks and so while we are focus in this uh, problems and all then we will create a some design so either we have a high level design or low level design so once you create a system design so these all are the basic constraint which we have to uh, follow here so fun one is uh, consistency hashing like while we create a system design to develop any application or any module or any sub module in that cases we have consistency hashing cap theorems we have to follow and what is load balances that we have to follow skews cache caching and then replications and what is the sql either sql we have to use or no sequels indexes proxy and data partition so these all are the content which we have to use while we are designing any applications or any module if you have any requirement to develop any uh, features of the particular applications then uh, we have to follow these all those things internally while we develop a design before that so these are this is the load balancer so while we going for the load balancer so these are multiple type of load balancers are there either round robin randoms and randoms wait for the memory and cpu cycles so depends on the domain and depends on the requirement of the applications which type of load balancers we can use so load balancers mostly is used to handle the applications uh, traffic so we have a multiple request is coming from the client we are sending to the multiple web server app servers and all so we need to route this request from the different different uh, uh, sub server or uh, part so in that cases we will go for the load balancer so we have to introduce load balancers here and then client will send the request and it will go for the load balancer load balancer will redirect from the depends on the web servers or app server if server is free or some server have less load balancers and all in that cases that will be redirected so these things we have to uh, consider while we are creating any system design and then we have a uh, multiple smart clients so what all are the smart clients which we have to follow hardware load balancers and the software load balancers so hardware load balancers like infra network which we are using and all so for that purpose we have to handle the traffic in this and the software load balancers where we have a, a ha proxy oss level balancers uh, or client servers while we are running on this client to a server applications which need to be connect in that cases we will go for the software load balancers the second thing is like we have to consider the database so either we have a sql database or no sequence database so which database which need to be used for the particular uh, system design which we created either based on the module or based on the application so we need to consider either sql or no sql so no sql is a non relational database and sql is a relational database so when to use relational and when to use non relational 
we will followed based on the design pattern which we have followed or we have design uh, we have based on the system design which we have created for the requirement so row column based if you want in this case we'll go for the sql no sql is a key values document wide column graph base if you'll go for the then we have no sequels in this no sequels also we have a multiple part is there multiple different type of no sequels are there based on the key value store if you need then you have to go for the redis case and dynamo db and all if you want to go for the document based database in that cases we will go for the mongodb coach db and all if you want wide column database in that cases we will go for the cassandra database or h base if you want a graph ql graph db database in that cases we have to show graphical view in that cases we can go for neo 4j and all so these all are the many different different things are there 